Hello friends, welcome to our channel CNC Programming and Die Mode and today we will discuss about this rib command or groove we have covered last time so we will cover this edge blend today so first we will create a block and dimension of this at origin and click ok and just like this so with the help of this edge blend we create a round shape at any edge with the help of this you can define the radius or uh, if you want to define any other radius on second edge you can click here we have different radius here we have 20 and click add to new set and I want the third radius at third face with the help of this add set we can create a radius different radius at different edges so this is the first option now delete this again select this and select an edge and reduce the radius and second option we have here is variable radius in variable radius we can define a various point just click at with the help of this tool at an end and suppose I choose this this end what radius you need and another radius this end I need a different radius at this point and select this midpoint or uh, this point on curve on this curve I need a point just drag this and on this point we have the radius and the length of arc suppose I want the radius at middle of this edge so type 50 as a percentage ratio of this arc length and the radius as 30 you can drag anytime you can change the radius at any time we have three point first here 19 is the radius second this point 21 is the radius and the 9 is the radius at the middle I click as preview you can see with the help of this variable radius you can define variable radius at various point here we have three point you can define more than three uh, you can see one option is just soft radius change at end uh, this is something like linear or cubic option if you select this the cubic radius will come this cubic radius is come if you want to linear so linear curve will come right with the help of this curve and corner setback just apply and for corner setback I use I select these three curves and at corner setback I will select a corner point you can see with the help of corner setback you can set the value of radius or the shape of corner radius with this and setback value you can shift yeah. here we have three edges so you can change the radius suppose I will take 20 20 and 20 on the all three edges corner setback here in the corner setback include the corner the corner radius will include with this setback and you want to separate the corner the setback and the corner side will separate come separately you can see this is separated option and this is included 
included no setback no separate setback and corner will come and apply see the result this is now stop short of corner with the help of this you can stop the plate at middle or any distance of this edge so just select a point click and you can define distance stops out of the corner wait let's apply this and again I will take this just okay this just double click over the blend plate and now I will click this is stop short of corner and select end point the end point is this point now you can see the arc length is come and you can drag this with the help of this point you can stop your fillet up to the point suppose I want this fillet up to this you can play or just click this with the help of this you can change this or just if you want to delete this just delete this point or change this and click ok the result will like this so very easy now I want to change the color of this uh, corner plate so click and assign feature color and change the color what color you need just click and open and okay this is mine and now double click over the fillet and remove this short length I don't need this short length and now next option is length limit I want to limit the length with the help of plane just click on the arc and with the help of this you can define the limit of fillet there it is and if I want to change the plane direction you can change the direction of the plane or reverse direction and add new set I want to create a limit here it will come or just see here this option is if I want the radius at this point so radius will come up to this plane only with the help of limit plane you can create and again I will click over the edge blend and this time I need edge blend on this edge just zoom this and now I want wait again just click and this time I need the shape of my edge blend as a conic with the help of this conic my shape and the radius both will change this is conical plate okay not a circular circular is with respect this circular and this is elliptical like the elliptical and you have to define the center of the radius and the boundary of the radius the first one is the boundary radius and second is the center radius uh, this is perfect cylindrical now if the radius boundary radius and the center radius both will same then it is circular radius if they are differ with each other then it is conic radius and click ok you can see this is not a circular this is an elliptical plate so we have done most of the option